Good morning guys, now we will all have a new lesson. But before that, I want you all to take a deep breath. Can you feel it? Can you feel the air passing to your nostrils, to your lungs? Can you feel it now? I want you all to inhale. And now exhale. Now I have a question for you. What is the gas that we inhale? Very good. The gas that we inhale is oxygen. The next one is, what is the gas that we exhale? Very good. The gas that we exhale is carbon dioxide. Our new lesson for today will be all about gas or gases. So let us all first define what is a gas. A gas is a state of matter that has particles that are freely moving and are widely far from each other, which makes them highly compressible. So, how is that? I have here, plastic. We say that a gas is a state of matter that has particles that are freely moving. Can you feel the air all around you? Is it freely moving? Does it move freely or is it compressed? Yes, very good. It is freely moving and yet we can compress it. But how? This plastic, example this plastic, I will blow it. Can you see? The air is now compressed inside the plastic. Can you follow class? Can, do you understand our lesson? Now class, we already defined what is a gas. Now we will all have the properties of gases. The first one is gas can rapidly fill up a container. For example, again, we have a plastic. Let's all blow it. Did it rapidly fill up this plastic? Yes, very good. It rapidly filled up this plastic. Because, again, a gas is a state of matter that has particles that are freely moving and widely far from each other, which makes them highly compressible. So the second property of gas is gases diffuse very rapidly. How we, can we define that? I have here again plastic. The first property is gas can completely fill up a container. Now let's fill it up. The second property is gases can diffuse very rapidly. Can we diffuse this very rapidly? Let's all see. Did it diffuse? Yes, it diffuses very rapidly. So the second property and the first property of gas are correct. The third property is gas is compressible and highly expandable how can we do that how can we explain or how can we show that is that it is highly compressible and expandable again this plastic will help us do that can you see the pla the plastic doesn't have any space or it is completely empty now it says that gas is highly compressible and expandable. Can we expand this plastic using air? Let's all see. Did the plastic expand? So the property number three is correct. The fourth property is gases are less dense. Again, we will use this plastic as an example. How can we say that it's less dense? When we say less dense, it is less compact. Or the particles are freely moving. Or they are far from each other. Again, we will fill this plastic with air. Now, we, can see, we cannot see the particles of gas or air with our bare eyes. But we can see that the particles are far from each other but how because the plastic expanded 
that's how we can define that gas is less dense or gases are less dense is it all clear to you class very good the fifth property of matter is gases have mass how can we define that or how can we explain that mass is a large body of matter which doesn't have a definite shape so again we will move again to this plastic i think from the first part up to the fifth property of gas we are using this plastic because it is very re relevant to our lesson we can easily explain or we can easily show that gas is really highly compressible and expandable with the use of this plastic so the fifth property again is gas have mass how can we how can we show that we can fill this thing up again and again so gases have mass mass is what a large body of matter that is that doesn't have a definite shape so did it fill this up does it have a definite shape no doesn't have a definite shape so the fifth property of gas is correct so the last property of gas is gases exert uniform pressure all over the directions how can we do that again we will have this plastic we will fill this plastic up now can you see that gas exert uniform pressure all over the plastic so let's all have a recap the first property of gas is yes very good the first property of gas is gases can fill up a container again let's all show it did it fill it up very good now the second property is gases diffuse very rapidly this container or this plastic can diffuse very rapidly am i correct yes it can diffuse very rapidly because gas is highly expandable and compressible which makes the particles freely moving so we're just recapping here the third property of gas is gases are what gases are highly compressible and expandable very good the fourth one is yes very good gases are less dense so we're on the fifth one what is the fifth one the fifth one is gases have mass very good and the last property of gas is very good class gases exert uniform pressure all over the direction so did you understand our lesson for today i hope you understand and learn a thing from me or you learn the lesson so that's it for today and thank you have a nice day and god bless us all